Hello, this is for day 123, a Bible in one year, and our Bible text for today, 2 Kings chapter 17 to 18, and then John chapter 3, verses 19 to 36. So let's start with a prayer. Lord, we thank you for our narrative that you've given us. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings, for the guidance, for the wisdom, for all the lessons, the trials, the challenges, for all the blessings in this life, for the provision of our needs. And thank you, Lord, for all the beauty that we are able to uh, witness all the goodness of you know everyone we met and for all our experiences in our lives thank you lord and help us lord to better see the goodness in everyone and help us lord to forgive others as we also ask for your forgiveness i pray lord that you continue to guide us and lighten us as we read your word and pray lord uh, for everyone's safety health uh, protection and salvation Lord, especially for our lost loved ones and to everyone who have not yet accepted you as Lord and Savior and Lord um, I'd like to pray for uh, everyone who are doing their part in the work of the Lord um, all our the pastors the different churches the missionaries church members and church workers Bible school students and Bible school teachers Lord um, bless our DVDs, bless our work, and give us, Lord, uh, provide for our needs, Lord. Thank you, Lord, if we pray in Jesus' name, Amen. Alright, Second Kings chapter 17. In the twelfth year of Ahaz, king of Judah, began Hoshea, the son of Ella, to reign in Samaria over Israel nine years. And to do that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, but not as the kings of Israel that were before him. Against him came up Shalmaneser, king of Assyria, and Hoshea became his servant, and gave him presents. And the king of Assyria found conspiracy in Hoshea, for he had sent messengers to Saul, king of Egypt, and brought no present to the king of Assyria, as he had done year by year. Therefore the king of Assyria shut him up and bound him in prison. Then the king of Assyria came up throughout all the land, and went up to Samaria, and besieged it three years. In the ninth year of Isaiah, the king of Assyria, took Samaria and carried Israel away into Assyria, and placed them in Hala and in Habor, by the river of Gazan, and in the cities of the Medes. For so it was that the children of Israel had sinned against the Lord their God, which had brought them up out of the land of Egypt, from under the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and had feared other gods, and walked in the statutes of the heathen, whom the Lord cast out from before the children of Israel, and of the kings of Israel which they had made. And the children of Israel did secretly those things that were not right against the Lord their God, and they built them high places in all their cities, from the tower of the watchmen to the fenced city. And they set them up in the just and groves, in every high hill, and under every green tree. And there they burnt incense in all the high places, as did the heathen, whom the Lord carried away before them, and wrought wicked things to provoke the Lord to anger. For they served idols, whereof the Lord had said unto them, You shall not do this thing. Yet the Lord testified against Israel and against Judah, by all the prophets and by all the seers, saying, Turn ye from your evil ways, and keep my commandments and my statutes, according to all that the law, to all the law which I commanded your fathers, and which I sent to you by my servants, the prophets. Notwithstanding, they would not hear, but hardened their necks, like to the neck of their fathers, that they not believe in the Lord their God. They rejected his sages and his covenant that he made with their fathers, and his testimonies which he testified against them. And they followed vanity, and became vain, and went after the heathen that were round about them concerning whom the Lord had charged them that they should not do like them. And they left all the commandments of the Lord their God, and made them molten images, even two calves, and made a grove, and worshipped all the hosts of heaven, and served Baal. And they caused their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire, and use divination and enchantments, and saw themselves to do evil in the sight of the Lord, to provoke him to anger. Therefore the Lord was very angry with Israel, and removed them out of his sight. There was none left but the tribe of Judah only. And Judah, oh sorry, 
also drew their cap not the commandments of the Lord their God, but walked in the stations of Israel, which they made. And the Lord rejected all the seed of Israel, and afflicted them, and delivered them into the hand of spoilers, until he had cast them out of his sight. For he rent Israel from the house of David, and they made Jeroboam the son of Nebat king. And Jeroboam drove Israel from following the Lord, and made them sin a great sin. For the children of Israel walked in all the sins of Jeroboam which he did, they departed not from them, until the Lord removed Israel out of his sight, as he had said by all his servants the prophets. So was Israel carried away out of their own land to Assyria unto this day. And the king of Assyria brought men from Babylon, and from Kuta, and from Ava, and from Hamath, and from Sepharvim, and placed them in the cities of Samaria, instead of the children of Israel. And they possessed Samaria, and dwelt in the cities thereof. And so it was at the beginning of their dwelling there, that they feared not the Lord. Therefore the Lord sent lions among them, which slew some of them. Wherefore they spake to the king of Assyria, saying, the nations which thou hast removed and placed in the cities of Samaria know not the manner of the, of the God of the land. Therefore he had sent lions among them, and behold, they slay them, because they know not the manner of the God of the land. Then the king of Assyria commanded, saying, Carry thither one of the priests whom you brought from thence, and let them go and dwell there, and let him teach them the manner of the God of the land. Then one of the priests whom they had carried away from Samaria came and dwelt in battle, and taught them how they should fear the Lord. How bade every nation made gods of their own, and put them in the houses of the high places, which the Samaritans had made every nation in their cities wherein they dwelt. And the men of Babylon made Zakat Benat, and the men of God made Nergal, and the men of Hamath made Ashima, and the Avites made Nebas and Tartak and the Sepharvites burnt their children in fire to Adramelech and Anamelech the gods of Sepharvim. So they feared the Lord and made unto themselves of the lowest of them priests of the high places, which sacrificed for them in the houses of the high places. They feared the Lord and served their own gods after the manner of the nations whom they carried away from them. And to this day they do after the former manners. They fear not the Lord, neither do they after their statutes, or after their ordinances, or after the law and commandment, which the Lord commanded the children of Jacob, whom he named Israel, with whom the Lord had made the covenant, and charged them, saying, You shall not fear other gods, nor bow yourselves to them, nor serve them, nor sacrifice to them. But the Lord who brought you up out of the land of Egypt with great power, and a stretched out arm, him shall ye fear, and him shall ye worship, and to him shall ye do sacrifice. And the statutes and the ordinances and the law and the commandments, which we he wrote for you, you shall observe to do forevermore. And you shall not fear other gods. And the covenant that I have made with you, you shall not forget, neither shall you fear other gods. But the Lord your God you shall fear, and she, he shall deliver you out of the hand of all your enemies. How they did not, they did not hearken, but they did after their former manner. So these nations feared the Lord and served their given images, both their children and their children's children, as did their fathers, so did they and to this day. Now it came to pass in the third year of Hosea, son of Elah, king of Israel, that Hezekiah, the son of Ahaz, king of Judah, began to reign. Twenty and five years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned twenty and nine years in Jerusalem. His mother's name also was Abi the daughter of Zechariah, Zechariah, and he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that David his father did. He removed the high places, and break the images, and cut down the groves, and break in pieces, the brazen serpent that Moses had made. For unto those days the children of Israel did burn incense to it, and he called it Nehushtan. He trusted in the Lord God of Israel, so that after him was none like him among all the kings of Judah nor any that were before him. For he claimed to the Lord, and departed not from following him, but kept his commandments, which the Lord commanded Moses. And the Lord was with him, and he prospered, whithersoever he went forth, and he reveled against the king of Assyria, and served him not. 
And the Lord was with him, and okay. he smote the Philistines even unto Gaza, and the borders thereof, from the tower of the watchmen to the fenced city. And it came to pass in the fourth year of King Hezekiah, which was the seventh year of Hoshea, son of Elah, king of Israel, that Shalmaneser, king of Assyria, came up against Samaria and besieged it. And at the end of three years they took it, even the sixth year of Hezekiah, that is in the ninth year of Hoshea, king of Israel, Samaria was taken. And the king of Assyria did carry away Israel unto Assyria, and put them in Hala, and in Habor, by the river of Gozan, and in the cities of the Medes. Because they obeyed not the voice of the Lord their God, but transgressed his covenant and all that Moses the servant of the Lord commanded, and would not hear them, nor do them. Now in the fourteenth year of King Hezekiah did Sennacherib king of Assyria come up against all the fenced cities of Judah and took them. And Hezekiah king of Judah sent to the king of Assyria to Lachish, saying, I have offended, return from me. That which thou puttest on me will I bear, and the king of Assyria appointed unto Hezekiah king of Judah three hundred talents of silver and thirty talents of gold. And Hezekiah gave him all the silver that was found in the house of the Lord and in the treasures of the king's house. At that time that Hezekiah cut off the gold from the doors of the temple of the Lord and from the pillars which Hezekiah king of Judah had overlaid and gave it to the king of Assyria, and the king of Assyria sent Tartan and rob Saris and rob Shakeh from Lachish to king Hezekiah with a great host against Jerusalem. And they went up and came to Jerusalem. And when they were come up, they came and stood by the conduit of the upper pool, which is in the way, which is in the highway of the fuller's field. And when they had called to the king, there came out to them Eliakim the son of Hilkiah, which was over the threshold, and Shabna the scribe, and Joah the son of Asaph the recorder. And Rab Shaka said unto them, Speak ye now to Hezekiah, Thus saith the great king, the king of Assyria, what confidence is this wherein thou trustest? Thou sayest, but they are but vain words. I have counsel and strength for the war. Now in whom dost thou trust, that thou rebellest against me? Now behold, thou trustest upon the staff of this bruised tree, even upon Egypt, on which if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is fair king of Egypt unto all that trust on him. But if he say unto me, We trust in the Lord our God, is not that he, whose high places and whose altars Hezekiah has taken away, and had said to Judah and Jerusalem, You shall worship before this altar in Jerusalem? Now therefore I pray thee, Give pleasure to my Lord, the king of Assyria, and I will deliver thee two thousand horses, if thou be able in thy part to set riders upon them. How then will thou turn away the face of one captain, of the least of my master's servants, and put that trust in Egypt for chariots and for horsemen. Am I now come up without the Lord against this place to destroy it? The Lord said to me, Go up against this land and destroy it. Then said Eliakim, the son of Hilkiah, And Shebna and Joah and Terab Shaveh, Speak, I pray, I pray thee, to thy servants in the Syrian language, for we understand it, and talk not with us in the Jews' language, in the ears of the people that are on the wall. But Rab Shaqah said unto them, Have my master sent me to thy master, and to thee, to speak these words? Had he not sent me to the men which sit on the wall, that they may eat their own dung, and drink their own peace with you? Then Rab Shaka stood and cried with a loud voice in the Jewish language, and spake, saying, Hear the word of the great king, the king of Assyria. Thus saith the king, Let not Hezekiah deceive you, for he shall not be able to deliver you out of his hand. Neither let Hezekiah make you trust in the Lord, saying, The Lord will surely deliver us, and this city shall not be delivered into the hand of the king of Assyria. Hearken not, unto his, not to Hezekiah, for thus saith the king of Assyria, Make an agreement with me by a present, and come out to me, and then eat ye every man of his own vine, and every one of his fig, of his fig tree, and drink ye every one the waters of his cistern. Until I come and take you away to a land like your own land, a land of corn and wine, a land of bread and vineyards, a land of oil, olive, and of honey, that ye may live and not die, and hearken not unto Hezekiah, when he persuaded you, saying, The Lord will deliver us. Had any of the gods of the nations delivered at all his hand out of the hand of the king of Assyria? 
Where are the gods of Hamath and of Arpad? Where are the gods of Zephyrvain, Hena, and Iva? Have they delivered Samaria out of mine hand? Who are they among all the gods of the countries that have delivered their country out of mine hand, that the Lord should deliver Jerusalem out of mine hand? But the people held their peace and answered him not a word, for the king's commandment was, saying, Answer him not. Then came Eliakim the son of Hilkiah, which was over the threshold, and Shabna the scribe, and Joah the son of Asad the recorder. So Hezekiah with their close friends and told him the words of Rabshakeh. Okay, we now go to John chapter 3 and read verses 19 to 36. And this is the condemnation that light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For every one that doeth evil, hateth the light, neither, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. After these things came Jesus and his disciples into the land of Judea, and there he tarried with them and baptized. And John also was baptizing in Anon near to Salim, because there was much water there, and they came and were baptized. For John was not yet cast into prison. Then there arose a question between some of John's disciples and the Jews about purifying. And they came unto John and said unto him, Rabbi, he that was with thee beyond Jordan, to whom thou bearest witness, behold, the same baptizeth, and all men come to him. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. Ye yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but I am, but that I am sent before him. He that had a bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom who standeth and heareth him rejoiceth greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This is my joy, therefore, is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. He that cometh from above is above all, he that is of the earth is earthly, and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all, and what he hath seen and heard, that he testifieth, and no man receiveth his testimony. Testimony. He that hath received his testimony hath said to his seal that God is true. For he whom God hath sent speaketh the words of God, for God giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. The Father loved the Son, and had given all things into his hand. He that believeth on the Son had everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abideth on him. Alright, we're done with the Bible reading, so for the reflection, something to share. The last verse is, you know, uh, good to take note of. He that believeth on the Son had everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. So, you know, what, what it says saying is, uh, is that all who believe in Christ, who believe in Jesus as the Christ, as Lord and Savior, we have everlasting life. Uh, we are, we will, we are adopted children of the Lord. We are children of God. And when we die, we would have, you know, everlasting life and get to heaven. And those who do not, um, you know, they have, hell waiting for them and they would be punished by the Lord because they did not uh, believe in Jesus and, and his teachings and they did not uh, obey the commandments of the Lord. All right, and as I was reading, um, I also would like to take note the first uh, verse that we've read in John, you know, John 3 verse 19. And this is a condemnation that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil so you know um non-believers people who continue to sin and who do not want to repent of their sins who do not want to turn their back on their sins who would like to continue living in sin they want others to sin as well so that they would not be judged or they would not be condemned because they could just say that why are you you know how who are you to reprove me or who are you to rebuke me when you yourself is a sinner, when you yourself is doing these things, committing sin, right? So they want more people to, uh, you know, to live in sin so that their own sins would be covered instead of, you know, people pointing their hands at them and uh, rebuking them. There would be a lot of people to be rebuked or to be uh, called to repentance. But as more and more people uh, live that way, then, you know, 
there would be more people who remain sinners, who would love their sins, who would not repent, and there would be less people who would come to repentance, who would, uh, you know, repent, and who would come back to the Lord. And so, um, there, in truth, there is, you know, less people who would come to light. Uh, for everyone that doeth evil hated the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. Mm -hmm. Also, there's the fact that, you know, it's kind of very difficult for people to admit that they are wrong, that what they're doing is not correct, that they are sinning, that they should, you know, uh, do good instead of evil and so uh, people are proud they do not want to uh, be rebuked or to be reproved so uh, it's very difficult for them to repent and to come to the Lord to you know accept him as for the Savior because they would feel that no I don't want saving they would say things like that they, they don't need to be saved, they like to live in, you know, whatever they're doing, they are living in sin, and so, um, the last verse, verse 36 is, of, is uh, you know, should be remembered as well, that people who would uh, refuse to believe in the Lord would have a uh, punishment waiting for them in the afterlife, or when we all die, right? People who believe in the Lord would have their... Uh, reward uh, in heaven and those who do not who would keep living in sin who would not accept the Lord uh, would accept Jesus as Lord and Savior they would have their punishment in hell so it's very important for us to you know share the gospel tell people what the Bible says about uh, these things and of course again faith is believing without seeing and you know, people, there are people who doubt, who would doubt because, you know, they have seen, they have seen it, they have not experienced it, and, um, they would have a lot of reasons to, you know, refuse believing in the Lord, so there is that. Okay, so that's it for this one. Again, this is day 133 of Bible in one year, and we have read 2 Kings chapter 17 to 18, and then John chapter 3 verses 19 to 36. Thank you, and God bless.